Hello and welcome back to the channel. And first off, Merry Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching today's video. I'm home alone. I wanted to jump on here real quick. You know that I like to cook some super simple stuff when I'm home alone. So today we are going to be making some bone-in Aloha chicken thighs. And I know what you're saying. Josh, what are Aloha chicken thighs? Well, let me show you the ingredients. First and foremost, super simple. Some bone-in chicken thighs. And you're gonna need some Aloha seasoning. Thank you very much, Patty. We're gonna be using the Aloha seasoning. Well, actually, we're, it's not we're, it's me. I'm gonna be using the Aloha seasoning on some chicken thighs. I'm gonna be cooking them today inside our Ninja Foodie XL. This new XL Ninja Foodie is awesome. If you guys got one for Christmas, we have a ton of Ninja Foodie videos out there. Cooking with CJ is a ton of Ninja Foodie videos out there. Great kitchen device, we love it. Chicken thighs, seasoning, bake inside the Ninja Foodie. I'm gonna show that to you, and that's it. We're gonna be having some super juiced, moist, juiced, moist chicken thighs. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, so like I said earlier, our friend Patty brought us back this seasoning from Hawaii, the organic Aloha chicken and pork seasoning. Smelling it, smells like it has a little bit of heat in it, but I'm just gonna, oh, that was a lot. I'll just get this all over the place. So I just threw our chicken thighs in, our Ninja Foodie, I'm just gonna get them coated up. I'm gonna try and share this around. So let me show you guys what kind of coating this looks like here. Super simple, super easy. Looks like it has a little bit of peppers in it. it smells kind of sweet, kind of spicy. So we're just gonna position those around and get this and then we're gonna get to baking. And now we're ready to get to bacon. Bacon? No chicken. You guys, we have a link down below for one of these. Really super awesome, especially this new one. So let's turn it on and it's gonna go through its little cycle. Now I'm gonna move it down here to bake, if you guys can see that. And I wanna do 350 for 45 minutes. And it's gonna be just like an oven. Actually, I'll do 40 minutes and we'll check temperatures. So let's do 350, 40 minutes at bake, start, and I'll see you guys back soon. So while well, that is baking, I just wanted to take a moment. Everybody that subscribed to our channel this year, everybody who's hit that join button, our top tier channel members, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said earlier, I'm home alone right now, so I wanted something super simple. We've had such a difficult, rough 2021. So here's looking forward to 2022. Everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out on our YouTube channel. This is really good for, I know, my mental health, Babe's mental health, as we're getting through a lot of different stuff going on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We love cooking, we enjoy cooking, we love making these videos, and we appreciate all of you watching it. All right, let's take you fast forward to the 40 minutes is up. Let's pull out our thermometer, let's check some temperatures, and let's grub down. Okay, so in full transparency, I checked this chicken at 20 minutes, I gave it a little flip, and then I put it on for 10 more minutes. So right now we have a total cook time of 30 minutes at 350 degrees in the Ninja Foodie. Wow, you can see how juicy that is, wow. So I'm gonna pull this out now, I'm gonna double check temperatures once again. I need it at least at 165 or above. Oh boy, it's so juicy, it's falling apart. And that is another reason why I really love the Ninja Foodie. So, Let's get this out on the board, let's check some temperatures, and then it's time to eat. All right, so we're at 168 on that one, that's perfect. We're at 170 on that one, perfect. And again, we're gonna let this rest for a minute, 178. And this one's at 180. So we're just gonna let this rest for a minute, we're gonna take a little thumbnail, and then we're gonna eat. So I would say, not too bad at all. 350 for 30 minutes, grab the chicken thigh, put some seasoning, not a bad little dinner for a guy like myself. So let's cut into it. Obviously, I showed you guys the skin. Wow. I showed you the juices. It's steaming. I love chicken thighs. You guys can, we've had this debate. You guys can comment down below. Chicken breast or chicken thighs? I'm a chicken thigh type of guy because chicken breasts always turn out kind of dry, I think. I don't know. But let me show the folks. I wish Babe was here with me. The taste test is just not the same without her. So, oh, come on camera, there we go. Look, I mean, it's steaming, it's skin, it's meat, it's juicy, it's just redonkulous. I'm gonna burn my face off right now.
Oh, that seasoning is good. Aloha chicken from Hawaii. That seasoning is good, Patty. That's really good. I thought it was going to be more spicy. It's not spicy at all. Perfect amount of like sweet, heat, salt. Maybe, I can't, maybe paprika? I don't know. It is really good. It it's really, It almost reminds me like a fried chick kind. It's kind of hard to explain. It's, it's, it's very good. Look, another, I had to fold the skin over because it's so ridiculous. And it's steaming. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Merry Christmas, guys. If you got a Ninja Foodie for Christmas, if you own a Ninja Foodie, if you don't, there's a link below. But hot damn. That is scrumptious. All right. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Dun, 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 the aftermath of one lone man grubbing down on chicken. <laughs>